Cinema 4D Release 18 includes a greatly enhanced algorithm for baking sculpt objects. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to start here in Release 17 with this sculpt created by Patrick Gosky, and we'll simply use the Bake Sculpt Objects command. We're going to bake this out as a TIFF 32-bit 4K, and we're going to go ahead and create a copy from the result. I'm going to bake the displacement from level 8 down to level 5, and we're going to bake as a red-green map. So let's go ahead and hit the Bake button. I'm going to replace the file that was there already, and the bake process will begin. Now, one thing to keep in mind with the baking process, regardless of which version you're using, is that you need proper UVs on the source mesh. So I've gone in and unwrapped this mesh. Uh, it's really not very many polygons at the lowest level, so the unwrap was not very hard to perform. And uh, we've got the bake almost complete here, and it's going to create a copy of the original object and this copy is going to have the displacement material already applied so i'm going to go ahead and hide the original sculpt and let's go ahead and render this out to take a look and as this renders uh, the mustache actually looks pretty good but you'll start to see some issues appear as we start to reveal more of the face you can see some of these lines across the face, the eyebrows are pretty messed up, and the beard is quite frankly just a mess. So let's go ahead and jump into release 18 and see how it performs with the same sculpt. So here we are in release 18, and we're going to bake the sculpt the exact same way. The process hasn't changed at all. I've changed the file name here to uh, beard18, and again, we're rendering a 4K file. I'm going to, again, render the displacement from level 8 down to level 5, and we're using the red-green displacement method. Now, one of the reasons I chose red-green is that it supports the new ray casting method of baking, which is one of the primary enhancements to the bake algorithm. Ray casting is supported if you're using intensity, intensity-centered, or red-green. So let's go ahead and bake this out. And while this is baking, I want to point out that we have a few options here in the settings dialog for ray casting. And one of them is the max ray cast distance. Now, by default, you can just leave both of these options checked, and it's just going to choose options that are going to work well in most cases. Uh, the max ray cast distance is going to cast rays all the way into infinity. If you want to limit the ray cast distance, you can set that. Also, the spike filter threshold is going to limit any of the spikes that appear in the displacement map. It basically sort of levels out the displacement map. Uh, so if you're seeing spikes, you can disable the checkbox and set a lower spike filter threshold. So the lower the threshold, the less spikes, but it's also at lower values going to start to decrease the effect of your displacement. So we've got our new object here. We're going to go ahead and rename this R18. And I'm going to go ahead and hide the original sculpt. And let's go ahead and render that out. And already this is looking quite a bit better. I'm going to jump back and forth. This is R17 and R18. You can see that that skin is much smoother. And we've got good quality eyebrow displacement here. And the beard is looking very good as well. So you can see that we've got quite a good improvement in the sculpt baking with Cinema 4D Release 18. Once again, the process is almost exactly the same. There's a couple new options that you can activate if you need to, but ultimately you'll enjoy better sculpts in Cinema 4D Release 18. If you enjoyed this quick tip, please like, share, and visit Cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.